Hey guys, welcome back to more L.A. Noir. Yeah, in the last episode, we're in Homicide now. Been all over KTPL. South Temple Street, Belmont, Lincoln. That's our new partner. He's a little bit tubbier than the last one, and older, so maybe he'll be more experienced. <laughs> Ugh, nose is plugged. Oh ho, this guy. This guy is gonna learn something he should never say. Telling me to take the wheel. Well, I hope you have life insurance, because you're gonna need it. Hey, it has, it has sirens. Hooray! Oh well, no one needed a stoplight anyways. What happened to Rose? Parker wants to see the job. Word is, it's either gonna be him or Thatcher. But we're both turning the deck. Where does that leave you, Galloway? Leave me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? Medallion. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the black dahlia. Any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, you know? Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. It'll be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off. Fuck! I was trying to drive good, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Eleven K, go ahead. Oh well we got most of that cutscene. Anything important. This guy's a fucking douche. Uh -huh, death plunge. I'll do it! So help me God, I'll jump! Do a flip! You need to get up there. Let me do the talking, detective. I know a ton of this psychology stuff. Take the back alley and find a way up there. Alright, this already sounds like a bad idea, so uh yeah. My god, they can run fast. Oh, there's a... You think this thing can hold you, Rusty? I'll bring you down with me, Oh my god. How the hell did this thing not fall and kill us all? Oh well. We'll find out. Maybe this guy won't take a jump. Or maybe he will. No offense, but I don't like to splash on my shoe. Are you crazy? What are you trying to do? Haha, <laughs> he's panting. Look at him. Oh, you out of breath, Tubby. All right, well. Let's do it. Don't jump. You have so much to live for. Okay, I guess not. I. This what you wanted? I can't do it. I just... I'll come quietly, just... I need some help. Please. You gotta get me some help. You're a danger to yourself and to others. I oh, don't brag. At least he's asking for help, I guess. Still kind of like, whoa, because I really did not think crashing a car would turn off a cutscene, but I'm uh, still sorry about that. Um, yeah, let's. Let's, uh. Oops. Oh, wait, maybe I should let him get another car. Hit by traffic. Aww. Yeah, I'll let him get into the car. Come, get in the. Oh, Jesus. Alright, maybe the cutscene will continue, I don't know. Or the conversation and jibble jabber. God, my mic is so weird. It's on top of a Kleenex box and the little coin block thing from Club Nintendo. Just because without that it wouldn't be close enough to my face. And it's kind of in the way actually, so it's kind of weird and awkward. But I'm gradually getting used to it. 
It's kind of nice because I'm a little bit farther back from the TV, and I really don't have to have the audio on, which uh, I apologize for having on last time. Oh, and if you watch my other videos, don't worry. Uh, I'm trying to gun through L.A. Noir like a case a day, but uh, it'll continue back after that. Breathe. No, breathe, damn it. Oh my god, I think we gave him a heart attack. And, 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 mailbox! Yes. Whoa there. I like hitting mailboxes, they go flying. And mailbox. Oh, I missed it. Come on, another one, another one. We got, we got. Ooh, a jump. Oh, yeah. Did I break the car? Oh, I did. <laughs> it's still driving. Oh, no, it's done. It crapped out on us. You better not be doing a U-turn, mister, or I'll bust your ass. <gasps> you son of a bitch. Madam, we're gonna have to ask you to get out of the car. Because it's pretty and blue. Alright, well, uh, yeah, I broke that car, so let's go to the crime scene. Oh, this one has like shit ass handling. Oh my god. Easy. He's a piece of crap. Oh well, let's. We'll get there eventually. And it's slow. I think it's sturdy though, so. In a sense, it's like nice to have. Hey, we're almost there, nice. So let's turn up and... Hey, that guy was cane flowers, nice. And here we go, crime scene. Right. Oh, I gotta walk up to the police officer. Crime scene is just up the dirt road, detective. Well, that was pointless, no shit. I really don't think we're supposed to drive up to the crime scene, so I'll walk. Hey, it's Alan Harper again. How about a scoop Never mind. Galloway, you could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Fucking paparazzi. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, you know what's even worse? I wonder if that counts as nudity. Oh, I really hope I don't have to censor that. Trollman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Alright, let's talk to the coroner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, oh, we found footsteps. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Alright, let's keep looking around. Hmm, what do we have over here? We have a brush. And a purse. Maybe there's something in the purse. The victim's bag? The 
looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Okay. Great analysis of lipstick. Carry on. We got another clue over here. It's uh the hell is that? Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Oh, I got. Oh, this is gonna be easy. I can solve this. This is that. Uh, can I solve? It? I, okay, this is gonna be weird. I heard a tick, so that's in the right place. That's a Canada, kind of America-esque. Alright, we wanna... That. And let's keep turning it. There we go. It's open. Voila! Property of the Bomba Cafe. Why steal a table light? That's a pretty cool lighter, though. I'd love to have that. It's like, oh man, I need to smoke. Only if you can solve this clue. Yeah, like, you son of a bitch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clue, clue, clue. Clue, clue. We've got... Cigarette. Oh, psh, it's just garbage. Alright, um... The corner. Out of the way. This report doesn't need a dozen pictures of your pinstriped ass. Has the scene been secured? Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Alright, um... We checked that out. Uh, what else do we need to look at? Maybe over here. Can't always trust a crime scene that could be outside of it. Maybe. Whoa, 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 we found something. We found a golf club. Oh, psh. Well, at least this proves I was right. Always check outside the crime scene. Lazy bastards. Who knows what they could be doing. Alright. Keep a good eye out. Maybe there's a clue. Hopefully the murder weapon, that'd be cool, but, uh... I really don't think this is the kind of dumb... Oh, maybe, maybe, wait, wait. Oh, a knife! It's a freaking knife. He could have stabbed her or something, but... Meh. Sure, if I take a good look around, I might find something. Hmm. Oh, the music's gone. Wait, no, it's not. It started back up again. Hmm. Do you think there's a clue down there? Yeah. Probably not. This would be tough. Just trying to search every little nook and cranny of the place. I really don't see why I have to explain myself, though. I just do anyways. Alright, uh... Not look like there's anything around. Really. Oh! What was that? Ah. Oh, it's a... This is it's a fucking rock. Oh, well, let's take a look at the body, I guess. Cause of death? Could be the head injuries. She has been badly Oh my strong. god. The cuts look superficial. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the auction. What about a golf club? Alright, let's take a look at that arm. 
Eh. Oh, what do we have here? What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post mortem. All right. Let's check out the other arm. This is disgusting. Hmm. Eh, nothing special on this arm. Hmm. Interesting. Fuck you. I don't know. Hmm. What does the writing on the victim mean? BD, Black Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? A man could die of thirst in a case like this. But, I'm missing a clue. That's it, I'm using intuition. Actually, what about these boxes over here? No. But I'm using intuition. Oh. Never mind. Guess I found all the clues. So, uh, let's get in that car then and leave. Good choice for choosing your own. Wait, no, this is the car I brought. Alright. The Bomber Club. I would love to drive through there, but then I would just get like an insta game over kind of thing. So, not tonight. Alright. Oh ho, almost flipped the vehicle. Alright, watch out, Copper. Uh -huh. If we survive this, it's going to be a miracle. The werewolf? For my money? Copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. You've been working evidence from BD case for six months and got nicked. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us a note in the corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, fellas. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of storm. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. Well, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. You would have found it. Okay, well, apparently that's that. Or is it? Apparently, Mr. Phelps thinks otherwise. He's gotten awfully cocky. And again, he's been promoted pretty fast. Alright, um... Let's go ahead to the old crime scene. Ah! I keep forgetting I can't knock down power lines. Oh, I could totally knock that down. Come on. Or not, I guess I'm not going fast enough. Piece of shit car. You know what? It's him weighing us down. I miss Bukowski already, and... Anger! There we go. Got rid of all my frustration. And I keep hitting these fucking power lines. Oh, my car is almost busted. This thing's a piece of crap, so... Yeah. Let's see if we can make it last. Keep on going. It's left at the next intersection. That'd be a... Uh... Oh, I'll just turn to this one. Low and steady. No. 
Do I look like an effing turtle? No, I just, uh, pretty much passed the crime scene, though, so maybe. Wow, oops. This car is, like, dying, I swear. It's going so slow now. Now to the Bomba Club. 10.46 a.m. Let's go inside. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? We can't miss it. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Wait. Pour me three fingers of rye. It's ten o'clock in the fucking morning. You're having a drink? Really? I think it's about time someone admits he has a problem. Good God.